Hello folks and welcome back to Four Corners of the Galley. I'm your host P. Both, and you're joining me on another edition of our weekly time capsule. And as you can see, I'm all by myself this week. That's alright. Just me, you, and let's get this rolling. Alright, in case you don't know, this is a show dedicated to everything we saw on the internet all across the week. You know, movie, sports, uh, miscellaneous, pop culture, anything that we think that was pretty interesting, we put on the show. So without further ado, let's kick it off with a little bit of movie news. All right, so Black Panther came out last weekend and crushed it out the box office with $202 million in three days and then $242 million in four days. Along with that, Black Panther has stomped its way all the way to MCU's number one movie for the week with $292 million in its first week, $20 million ahead of Avengers. Man, Black Panther is taking the nation by storm, and everyone is loving it and enjoying this great movie. What did I say, people? This movie is amazing. Ryan Coogler is a genius. Thank you very much. Keep on rolling, Panther. All right. And it's still in the world of Black Panther, but a little bit of slash music slash movie news. The Black Panther soundtrack, which is uh, by Mr. Kendrick Lamar, produced by Kendrick Lamar, came in at number one on the Billboard 200. So Black Panther affecting everything all over the nation, music and in movies. Man, gotta love it. When you have a hit, you have a hit. Plus that Kendrick Lamar soundtrack is amazing. Pray For Me, the tenth, last track on the album was pretty great. Check out a bunch of that stuff, folks. All right, now moving on to the world of sports. We got the last week of the Olympics, the Winter Olympics not like anybody's noticed. No one really cares. Still going on in South Korea. We only got a couple days left. It ends all the way on Sunday. But maybe people haven't noticed because we haven't had a lot of big stars really out there. I mean, uh, the U.S. has been taking a pounding in the medal count. Right now, you got Norway with 38 goals, Germany with 28 goals, Canada with 27, and then the U.S. coming in at 23. Man, I can't think of the last time the America was so low in a medal count for any winter or summer Olympics. We really didn't do that well in the figure skating and a lot of the other skiing events we really didn't medal that well. The great Lindsey Vaughn only ended up with a bronze and it was just a rough year for the U.S. all around in the Winter Olympics. Outside of snowboarding where we really dominated, there wasn't a lot of areas where we controlled the whole thing. So maybe next time, folks. We do got the FIFA World Cup coming up in the summer, which is in Russia. And then two years, we'll have the Summer Olympics. So, you know, usually America's a lot better then. <laughs> and with that being said, it's been a slow week of news. Outside of Black Panther destroying the box office and also in your ears, a lot of controversy with the whole gun control and the terribleness that happened in Parkland, Florida last week. And the president seems to have uh, embraced some of this. But outside of that, it's been kind of quiet. Some new movies did come out this week. Check out Annihilation. Our review is up also. You can check out our review. Also, Game Night came out from the guys that helped write Spider-Man Homecoming and are looking to do The Flash in their new Flashpoint movie. That hasn't been signed yet, but they should be the directors and writers of that movie. So, hopefully it's really good. Should have a review for that coming up shortly too, folks. So, yeah. There you go. There's episode six of our weekly time capsule. A little slow week, that's okay. But don't go anywhere, folks. We got another galley game time. I know, come on, you guys stick around. These are fun, fun little fun games. Galley time, galley game time, folks. This week we got corner putt. Watch me and AG go head to head as this speed putt and chug action happens. Well, there you go, folks. Like, thank you for joining me this week. Till next time. Good night, Ted. Hello everybody, and this is Galley Game Night with your host, RG. And today we're going to be playing a little game I like to call Putt and Chug. If you follow me right here, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see the course as we speak. Our contestants will have to put a golf ball into that spot with one of these fine, one-of-a-kind Galley golf putters. Then, as we move on, you get to see our contestants will have to chug very cold water after that they will need to flip the water afterward like so first try first try there you have it let the game begin okay ladies and gentlemen here we are at the puck and chug 
putt and chug uh, oh. game. Our two contestants are getting ready. I'm nervous. Now, on your mark, oh, gosh. get set, go! Yeah. And <laughs> both of them horrendously miss. Oh, AG uh. misses. So does Pebo, but they got closer that time. Pebo's looking good. Oh, it just went a little to the left too much. And oh, that one's looking good. And a swerve to the right. So far, nobody has gotten close. Pebo. Oh, AG has got it. She's now on the chug part of the challenge. Chug, 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 chug. While Pebo is so struggling. Oh, oh Pebo is so struggling with the putt. He's switching sides now. AG is almost over for chugging. <laughs> so Even fun. people cheating can't get it. Oh, uh, so, uh, AG is now chugging. Oh, the oh, people got his putt now. Wait. <laughs> oh, you cheated if you get it, I swear. Can we get a comeback from behind? <laughs> oh, as totally counts as a block. Pebo, come on, AG. Oh, people misses. Oh, oh people. AG keeps watching. <laughs> Pebo goes, misses. Oh, AG almost had the flip. 